I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with IRS. Welcome to my YouTube station. Today I'm going to talk to you about when will IRS rele uh, release a uh, wage garnishment and a bank levy. Uh, I worked at IRS for 10 years. I'm a former revenue officer. I have worked thousands of these cases. I used to issue bank levies, the 668As and the 668W wage garnishment. I have a whole team of former a IRS agents on staff. I worked at IRS a decade. Um, I have a whole team of former IRS agents on staff, by the way. Anyway, I've been on TV a lot, the national news. Look at my videos at 777irs.com. Anyway, let's get right to it. I don't like to waste your time. When and how will IRS really, uh, release a, a, ba a bank levy or a wage garnishment levy? Well, as a former agent, after uh, issuing all these, um, to answer your question, IRS will answer as soon as you call them. That's what you need to do. It's really that simple. Um, if you've got a bank levy or a wage garnishment levy, it's that because you've never followed up on the levies it's, uh, or the uh, IRS. IRS doesn't know what to do with the case. So what they do is they poke you. How do they poke you? A poke is sending a bank levy. A poke is sending a wage garnishment levy. So that's what they do. They just tell, them to tell you, hey, you need to close your case with IRS. That's it. We don't want to do this. We sent you a CP14, a CP501, CP503, CP504, 1058 letter. Guess what? Nobody responded to us. Nobody responded. Nobody responded to us. So we had to go ahead and levy. So what do you have to do to release it? You have to call them. But you better have an exit strategy. Don't call the IRS unless you know what you're doing. Because not only may you not get that levy release, <coughs> The problem is you may have a payment agreement you're not going to want to, uh, you can't keep. See, when you call IRS to release the levy, they're going to say, well, how do you want to close your case? Well, how do you want to close your case? Generally, when you call the service center or the revenue officer, there's generally two ways you close cases, either with a payment plan or with a hardship, a currently non-collectible. Your current financial statement will determine what they're going to do with your case, so you better know what to put on that financial statement. If you don't, you may be able to get your uh, levy release, but you may have a $2,000 a month payment to IRS. So the whole key is calling IRS, being able to fill out a financial statement and give it to them, and then have the fax number of where you want the levy release to go to. But the key is, is you are either going to do this and take your chance yourself, or you're going to have someone represent you and get your lie, uh, get your payment down, or maybe put you in hardship. Here's the bottom line: IRS wants to. They're going to look at your financial statement. They're going to evaluate you. They're going to look at your income and expenses, and they're going to look at your assets. Based on those, they will either put you into currently non-collectible for a couple years, or they'll put you into a payment agreement. The big key here is understanding the IRS National Standard Program. IRS dictates to you what you can spend for expenses. IRS doesn't accept your expenses. The Department of Labor has a, a sheet for every county in the United States. If you want to know what yours are, go to IRS National Standards for Food and Clothing, IRS National Standards for Housing and Utilities, IRS National Standards for uh, Car Payments, IRS National Standards for Car Operation. What you put down and what IRS is going to allow are two different things. But people like us know a few tricks, a few things that we can do to help minimize the damage sometimes that you need to undo when you call IRS. So anyway, uh, give it a shot. Uh, if you call them, uh, you will. You may wait a little line. You call the 1-800 number. If you need to hire a pro to go ahead and get your levies released that day and get you into a good situation with the IRS, call us. Thank you for listening. You just now know the truth. Just call them, and you'll take care of the situation that day. That's all it takes. They just want your case closed. Thank you. Give me a subscription if you would. That's really important. If you call us, you call our office, you speak to me. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time.